the clickety clack has begun. Actually, I've never been on a train before. We're going to Manchester. Why are we going to Manchester? To see the paid team and have a paid day. Is it going to be paid for? I didn't bring my wallet. Is this your first goat outing? First of many. Hey, look, you're vlogging as well. A voiceover. Yeah, yeah. ready? I'm not even going to charge you. Welcome to the goat vlog. Come on. <laughs> Today, we are in Manchester. That's us and all our campaign. Just overflowing. Overflowing with yeah. over deliverables. This is what Andy Burnham, the mayor of Greater Manchester, said about the WPP offices. <laughs> We're really pleased to see WPP strengthen its presence here in our city region with the opening of a new major site in Manchester. This campus is another testament what? to what? Oh, <laughs> shit on the floor. And I'm we've gonna... got so many people at Goat that live up north, so maybe in one. Maybe in two. Hey. Can you give me an office tour? Should we go uh, give an office tour? Yeah, we should. Happy note on the board. Yes. Get a chocolate. What are you grateful for? My six kids, my kids? <laughs> We're just really thankful for Goat. Sorry, sorry. 50 cent songs, that is a brilliant. <laughs> Being told I smell nice. The four o'clock train on the way here has really done me in. Oh yeah, that. We came in at seven. You've got the you train. Train. Should I be in a train? Shh. <laughs> I'm sort of like waiting for the work to begin. I'm working. Oh, no, no, just, I almost like I'm waiting for like a trumpet sound. I'm 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 doing a lot of new business pitches. There is not one vertical that we have not done a pitch for recently. Wow. Nappies, video games, food, hair products, smart energy, streaming services, literally anything. And anything. Anything you want. I'd really like to, obviously it's really, really difficult to do, but I'd really like to do bet, more betting clients. And it's quite hard. Whereas with like hair or nappies, it's quite like, there's no rules and regulations around it. Whereas with betting, there's so many different so you're rules. Sa you're saying that you want limitations and... Yeah. and make it harder. Make it difficult. Make it difficult for me, Matthew. So that would be something that would be like a really interesting thing to, to come up with and write a strategy around. Oh my God! Is it true that it's your day off? Yes. And I've spent the entire day on a train to Manchester. The last time um, we saw each other, yeah. you said to me off camera that you would like to know more about like what paid is, what like our team do and, and how we do it and stuff. And then you explained it. And then I said to the guys this morning, I've forgotten everything. <laughs> and they explained to me. I'm gonna get professional though. Go so on, a lot yeah. of clients come to us and they're saying, oh, we want paid media because we want to target these specific audiences. So they'll be like, oh, you're really good at targeting really niche audiences. When actually what's happening is it's better to target a bit broader. So I use the example of, say we're selling a pair of football boots and yeah. we think, right, we're gonna target um, people that are interested in football, people that are interested in sport, people that are interested in being active. Actually, if we target a broad audience, it might be that parents are really interested in the ads because maybe they want their children to get into football. Gamers want to get away from their computers and start a hobby, and we didn't know that. So it's almost like, it's not almost like it is, like the algorithm has way smarter brains than we do. Right. So the slides that Gup made that I think explains it really well. So these orange bubbles here are who we think our target audience is. This is broad targeting. So this pink bubble here, we would target everyone so male, female, 18 to 55. Maybe here, this, these dark pink bubbles here are the most receptive and engaged audiences within here that we didn't know even existed. So they're still outliers to your preconceived notions of... Yeah, yeah. And then what we're able to do is once the campaign's running and we get some learnings through over the next couple of weeks, we're able to kind of refine this audience and make all the lovely optimizations to make it cost efficient. So what, you're, what you end up with is a much bigger audience than what you might have started with. What we might have thought, initially thought, yeah. I think it's the reason why, if you've noticed now, like they're getting rid of a lot of tailored targeting and everything's becoming broad. It's like Google search, they got rid of exact match, it's pretty much broad now because mm. the algorithm knows what it's doing. Yeah, and we still get a lot of clients that are very specific in who they want to target, which is fine. 
but it's kind of our job to educate them and be like, well, this is the way paid social's moving. This is the direction it's moving in. That was really interesting. The reasons for that is like, if you go back like 10 years, you used to be able to target with social media advertising really, really niche. The way that socials itself has changed, you go onto TikTok, everything's delivered by the algorithm. It chooses and learns what kind of content you like to see. Ads are being served to people in that way too. One of the things that we're trying to do more and more is not make too many presumptions on who is the right audience for this ad and like cast the net wide and then refine based on what we're learning. So it might be that we target quite broad and then we dig into who's been interacting with it, where they, oh, it's actually people between the ages of 25 and 34 and then it really drops off after that. Well, then we can refine that. So we're reducing any wasted spend. So would that be like removing human biases? The way that I've described it before is it's almost like saying, let's not be too arrogant to assume who is going to buy a product or who's going to click on an ad or whatever. Interesting. I'm reading about deals. I'm doing deals, potential deals with client redacted and project redacted. He learns well. Yeah. I know how to speed up the edit. <laughs>